$5 if you can say this word. Bleep horro. Blef for junk junk shit. Blef of horaco conjunctivitis. Blef of horaco conjunctivitis. Horaco conjunctivitis. I don't know. I got his $5. Na, 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 na. Can anybody pronounce this word? That's a tough one. Blepharo conjunctivitis. Itis just means an inflammation. So where is this anatomically? Well, blepharo is your eyelid, your eyelids. So when I do blepharoplasty, I'm doing plastic surgery on the eyelids. Conjunctiva, that's that mucous membrane that covers the white part of your eye, protecting the globe. That's your conjunctiva. So what is blepharo conjunctivitis? Typically, it starts with an infection of your eyelid, which then moves to your, to your conjunctiva. So you have redness, soreness. You may have drainage of both that eyelid and the conjunctiva. So something you may want to do on a regular basis is use an eye wash. You can use saline. What I'm using here is boric acid that you may want to use if you actually have some in inflammation, some redness on your conjunctiva, and that will help take that redness away. So obviously the signs to look for are drainage redness. Don't rub your eyes if you're around somebody who has this condition. Be real careful. Usually you're, you're going to need antibiotics to treat it both orally and a... So it's basically like pink eye, which is conjunctivitis, right. plus the eyelid. And right, you make a good point. Your conjunctivitis can also go to your eyelid the other way and give you blepharoconjunctivitis. So it's just an inflammation. Highly, highly contagious, too. Right, so it can be bacterial and viral. Hands.